Floyd talk about uh, the light at the end of the tunnel, so to speak, this fight, May, September, and then call it a day. For, in terms of boxing, not promoting and being on this work, what, what is your feeling about seeing him be able to, I guess, walk away in his own terms? Shit, I'm happy. <laughs> um, he deserves it. I mean, he's, he's put in the work his whole career, you know, grinded, done everything. The fans have asked him. You know, and um, he's had a remarkable career. It's time to hang him up. He made all the money you can make. What else is there to do in the sport? Yeah, exactly. Have I mean, nothing else to prove. Well, I'm not gonna really retire. You know, I still gotta help. You know, still work with work with my stable, my stable of fighters. Still built the brand, the Mayweather Promotions brand, and. Um, you know, it's, we have a lot of like, you know, we got we already got young fighters. So we got the young fighters that that you know that we breed. You know, we breed young fighters every day. We work with we work with the, those are our, just the future of boxing. These three young guys, and um, with our company, we give fighters chances that no one else give chances to. The fighters that no one else give chances to, we like to give them that chance, you know, so that's, you know, that's just our motto, everyone wants to have a chance. Does it worry you that people may not pay that much attention to you once you're retired as far as your promotional company and everything? You take a look at someone like Oscar, I mean, when, when he was an active fighter, he got a lot more attention than he does as a non-active fighter. Does that I think, concern you? I just think, you know, you know, um, you know, our status is two totally different. You know, it's two total different eras. I mean, not two total different eras. I just sat back and waited my turn. You know, um, to whereas you know, um, I don't have anything negative, you know, to say about, about Oscar. But um, two total, you know, there's there's difference between um, being promoted in just one area. You know, being big with just the Hispanics and the Latinos to where. You know, when you're a worldwide figure, it's, it's totally different. You know, I think Oscar De La Hoy, I think he was, you know, I think he was a good champion. And, you know, I think he's a, a solid guy. But his levels, it's, it's, it's different levels to this. But there's a difference between being a top athlete and a former top athlete, isn't there? Um, He was a top fighter. There's a difference between being a top fighter and a top athlete. He was, a he, was, he was one of the top fighters. And top athlete is meaning that you're competing against everyone, not just in your sport. So, you know, I don't think Oscar De La Hoya was never known as one of the top athletes. He was known as one of the top fighters. Is there any part of you that looks forward to not having so much attention? Um, a lot of times I think, you know, like a lot of fighters, you know, I tell them, you know, every day at the boxing gym. You know, sometimes you ask for certain things, you don't always want what you ask for. You know, you be want you know, you want to be able to go out your house sometimes. And you, you want to be able to go to go eat by yourself. You want to be able to go do things sometimes by yourself, but you know, it's the life I chose, so I have to deal with it.